Skull Crusher, Storm and Summer EP. Let's chat about it. Hey guys, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning. Here to chat about this latest EP from Skull Crusher, aka Miss Helen Ballantyne. She's been at it for a few years now, bringing out a very atmospheric, rustic folk sound. And you know what? Last year, I definitely heard the hype around her self titled EP, Skull Crusher. And I get it. It is super warm, super cozy folk. I mean, I definitely got the appeal here. It's likable, but for me, I thought this was such a small sample size, I needed to really hear more of Helen's music if she was going to ever win me over. But these new singles, I mean, they, they certainly have gotten around. A lot of people have been loving these, but I don't know. Why can't I just, like, dive headfirst into her music? The ZP starts off with Windshield, and actually... I love this. It's very warm, it's super cozy, I love how colorful it is as well. It's absolutely gorgeous, actually. And vocally, I think this is better than anything she put out on her self-titled EP. I mean, I will say this, it's still nothing outside the box in the world of indie folk and folk rock. It's just, you know, it's, it's nice. There's nothing wrong with that. In this case, it actually works. It does make me feel good. So I would say that, for the most part, Helen's music is winning me over very slowly. I also really like Steps. I feel like this is just a track where Helen is just really nailing her strengths. It's one of the most melodic moments here. It's super carefree. You know what? At first I was worried about how short it was. It's like a minute and 50 seconds long. But it is real likable and just one of the most memorable moments here. In Storm and Summer too, I actually think this is a pretty great title track. It did take me a long time to come around to it though. I remember you know, hearing it a while back and it just like completely blew by me. I mean, at first, I thought this was just a little too sunny for me. But Helen's performance here does win me over. Lyric-wise and vocal-wise, she sounds great. And yes, once again, there's nothing too wildly new or exciting or a genre pushing on this track at all. But for a few minutes, that's okay by me. It's the rest of this EP that let me down. For example, Song for Nick Drake. Okay, don't hate me, but this is just not for me. I remember when I first heard this one a couple of months back. Totally discouraged me from even thinking about reviewing this EP. The intro to this EP, Windshield, was just so nice on the ears, so pleasant. It helped me escape for a little bit. But this is just too, I don't know, light for me. Like, I listen to tons of folk that is this light and sunny and breezy, but... Helen isn't winning me over with a track like this. Also, the fluttering instrumental doesn't do anything for me. And I think this EP's finale, Prefer, is the worst track here. This is so boring. I'm, I'm sorry, but this is everything about their EP that they released last year that completely escaped me. It is unbearably faceless. I mean, it's light on the ears and it's pleasant, but I dare you to remember this six months from now. I mean, yes, overall, I think this is a better EP than the one that Skull Crusher put out last year, but overall, Helen's music has yet to really grip me. I mean, it's nice on the ears, it's pleasant, it's very warm and cozy rustic folk with some nice vocals, but so much of it is really faceless and really forgettable, sadly. I'm feeling like a strong six on this EP, but let me know what you guys think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, guys.